Hecate. Best of five. Korea versus the world. And uh, Korea send out Maru to try and take down the Max Packs. Let's see what the hell goes on in this. I'm very intrigued. As in the bottom left, a blue Terran player from on side. This is Maru. He takes on the red Protoss in the upper right so side of the map from Psystorm. It is Max Packs. One of our series, we get this up and running. Thanks so much, Jump and Crack Base. Three years, oh yeah. Thanks for the content. Thank you so much for three years of resubscribing. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. That's awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. As our Nexus promo boosts away. Get started. Jump and Crack Base going to double down on the three-year resub with the ten gifted subs. Going out to Logan Maid and Joya. HRDE2, Killer Caterpillar, Kefwan Gas, Blue Razadone 11, Eeks Daddy, Kefla S, Crowd Goes Wild, and The Cure. Thank you so much, Jumping Crack Base, for the generosity. We still, are on a, we still are on a little bit of a push towards 1,000 subs, guys. So if you want to help us out with that, just saying, just saying. We still can. Thank you so much, Jumping Crack Base, for the generosity. Three year resub, 10 gifted subs. Thank you so very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Really appreciate it. Nexus goes down on the natural. We get that set up just for a couple of moments. So getting that rolling. Dustin's place is going to give 10 subs as well. Yo, thank you so much. Going out to Grumpy Old Peach, Sham Stellion, Bow Boss, Freeman, Air Pizza. Durango Duke, Warhead 1979X2, Kikai Kikai, Team 9 Stank, and Nonios the Mad. Thank you so much again for the generosity. Back to back 10 gifted subs. That's what we call a party in this day and age, I think. Thank you so much for the generosity, guys. Thank you so much for supporting the stream today. You guys rock. Thank you. Let's just have our bunker. Getting set for the moment, things are getting. Rolling for a moment or two. That's where we're gonna go nibble up onto a zealot. So zealot taking some damage, some shots being dealt. We do have ourselves the. We're gonna finish off that zealot up there. It's just gonna knock that down. Marines doing decently as that Twilight Council continues to come in. Getting that set, getting that ready. Just for the moment here. We have ourselves the Twilight Council, the Warp Gate, Cyclone Barracks, Orbital Command. All the good stuff continues to come into play for the moment. And the two adapts continue into the natural here. Is this the final series of the whole thing? No. It's a best of nine made up of best of five. So this is a 2-2. Two -two, you know, two points to Korea, two points to World. Maru would have to beat Max Pax, Clem, and Oliveira to close it out. Meanwhile, Team World would have to beat Maru, Hero, and Dark still. So, quite a long way to go. I don't know, do they play this entire thing today no matter what? Or do they also stop after four hours and set up another day again? Let's have ourselves the... Plank coming up, Cyclone and a couple of Marines continue to pop on out. Another Stork warping in, the Robo Facility building up from Max Pax here as he has himself. The Plink opening into the Robo and we'll see just how many gates we go to. Currently just going to three it seems. Get that rolling. Single Marine in the bunker just firing away, the Adept taking some damage. It hops up into the high ground, the two Cyclones there. Able to clean it up. Now these couple of stalkers continue to warp in, so they're going to get warped in as well. So on they go. Let's see. The warp gate coming up one more time. That dark shrine building on the side of Max Pax. So bringing that dark shrine up, getting that underway. Prism continuing through as well. Let's just have ourselves the stopwatch coming up. Uh, attack upgrade in the stim pack continuing out. 
A lot of this continue to be brought into play as well, so again, lots of bits and pieces coming through for the moment. Looks around the stalkers, warp in here, just off the prism, gonna get ready to go potion at the front, where we are gonna blink straight onto a bunker, so the bunker goes down, we save a couple of stalkers in the prism, lifting that back up. Plus one attack, and, uh, blink, uh, uh, sorry, plus one attack, stim and combat shield all still coming through, I would love to survive up to those, obviously the big part of that is gonna be that there's a dark shrine from Max back, so he's gonna have an extra little bit of aggression compared to usual, as he already unloads four stalkers into the main base, they will go hunting for a couple of uh, SCVs in the main, meanwhile, we do defend over on the natural, the Cyclones lock in on, the Stalkers do lift up and get away momentarily. Medivax continuing to come up, Stimcat, Combat Shield, and the plus one upgrade continue through. We get a few more Dark Templar warping in. From Max Vax as well, let's just continue to get those warped in, and just have our Prism still back over that left hand side, and seeing our DTs unloading once again. Like I said, it's just going to be a nice couple of moments. Now, there are scans available. As we do scan for the DT on the top side of the base, it's going to be a second scan in this main mineral line. There's a DT on the natural as well. Max Pax is going to do some very serious damage here. This is 12 workers killed. So, when I say serious damage, I really do mean it. That's a lot of, uh, you know, that's a lot of punch you're packing. As the bio continues through and just chases the prism away one more time. So, keeping that out of there. And now seeing the Bioforce coming across to after some Stalkers. The Stalkers taking damage too. 14 SCVs dead as well, remember. It's already a pretty serious amount. The DT getting back in. The SCV surround. Cyclone is there. Picks off the Dark Templar. Four more additional gateways coming into play. We do have charge and the plus one attack. Continuing through as well as a couple of gates continue to build. in the main base too. All that coming up as we do knock down a marine, our bunker there to push the stalkers back as well. Bio just continues to chase in, the stalkers get pushed back for the moment, so again, doing a decent job of that. We do have ourselves the result popping out, the charge on the way, the plus one attack coming through. Oh, base just over halfway down as that's all. We'll unload. We go after some SCVs. Just one SCV already killed. Now going to go for the rest. The Bioforce stims up in towards the natural. Now we're going to be seeing them actually just going straight across. But I mean, does Maru really have enough? Max Pax at the moment is holding on pretty nicely. Is able to start pushing this away. And as long as he pushes this away, he's got a 20 worker lead. Max Pax's economy states that he should be in very good position. As long as he doesn't die right now, which he is not. He's holding on that advantage for sure. That pops out, comes over the side. The few units will be quick to come and greet this. The Zealot continue to take some shots. The Prism goes down, so that's the end of Max Pax's aggression for the moment at least. And now we just settle down into that worker lead and see if Max Pax can do enough with that. Maybe possibly put him into a good spot. Uh, plus two still coming up, and Nexus on the way. It's an SCV pull for Maru. He wants to end this. You know what? I love it. It's the perfect way to do it. Like, you know, Max Pax's advantage will be here as time passes. You go in as strong as you possibly can right now. Best possible chance to end this, I think. One Colossus out, not a lot of splash damage available, not really any sentries to force fields. Here we go, SCV start to get into the front. We're gonna let the Widow Mines do some splash there. The Zealots will take a little bit of an initial beating. And chase up this ramp. Reinforcements need to make sure they come with the rest of this army and just go join up in the right direction, not go busy, busy themselves elsewhere. The STVs will start to fall quickly. Will Maru have enough? 1-1 one, one to just plus one. We have the Bio continue to kite back. A few more Zealots going down. The Archon taking a couple of shots. Colossus is still here, a couple of Marines taking damage, another Widow Mine going down, Maru's army supply is still up by about 20, but is it enough? Max Pax keeps one that one Colossus alive, and now a second Colossus joining the fray. Maru will try and split them apart a little bit as he dives into the main base, but it feels as though this is turning the way of Max Pax. It feels like he is holding on well enough here for the moment. Stalk's coming across, zoning out and making sure that those Medivacs do not make a reappearance. 
I'm going to grab that panel as well. Smyra just doing what he can, but still only on the two bases. Still, I mean, now 30 SCVs. His economy in absolute tatters with what we've already seen as our Bioforce continues through this set of rocks. Next results getting warped in. We do see our plus two attack upgrade again. Just not far from being finished. Uh, Observer coming up. Our Bio is still chasing and to go after and kill off that DT also. So that will also go down. At least that's something from Maru. But I mean, it's a scan expended when his economy is already in tatters. You kind of feel like right now he probably needs every scan he can get as a mule. Just to mine money and to get a somewhat competitive army up again. I mean, his army's still okay. The one thing Mario does have, his current army standing, is, is decent. This result getting caught at least. Max Spex still not having the greatest time himself. I kind of expected Max Spex to... Really pop up supply-wise too, but he's not quite there yet. He's starting to get going. Extra zealots warping in. Obviously, a lot of it is he started building to some of the tech, such as the disruptors and the temple archives, etc. All of that is only just now really starting to make an appearance here. Up, and it's getting set. It's gonna be seeing this Bioforce still looking to come through. A couple of Archon Stalkers coming around. A lot of SCVs down on the other, uh, as part of this, and on the other side of the map. This is just going to be Max Pax absolutely holding on. I don't see these Vikings making the difference. They try to get the Colossi, they will maybe get one, but even that is kind of pushing. I mean, Mara is, is actually doing better than I thought. Super Battery tries to keep a Colossus up. It's not enough in the end. This is gonna be GG's. This is gonna close us out for game number one. It is going to be Max Pax to take the lead of the left side. Our blue Terran player he is going to be down by a map. Can he fight back in this Korea vs. World matchup? It is Maru from on side, representing Team Korea, of course. In the bottom right, in the bottom right, it is going to be our red Protoss. For Psy Storm, it is Max Pax. Game two of our best of five, Mario really just fell off. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys, my voice is apparently going a bit. Uh, Mario just really fell off to that DT pressure. I mean, the blink defense was fine. You know, took a little bit of damage, that's fine, but the DTs really just did so much. And I think what Mario did with the SCV pull to me was the right idea, trying to end it right then and there, but clearly it was just not quite enough. And now here we are <clears throat> in game two. Sorry, I need a cough one second. Apologies, guys. And my voice is a little bit uh, rough today, apparently, but that's okay. We have the engineering bay and the orbital coming up. I'm getting that ready to rumble. We're getting some action going. Again, that engineering bay just sat on the natural. Next is going to build over on the third base as well. Factory and the engineering bay continue to come up, and our orbital command on the way through as well. So, so far, so good. Looking good in that regard. Everything looking pretty neat just for the moment here. The factory is about to finish up and we just have ourselves the expansion out. <coughs> oh my god, my voice is gone. Hello, hello. Is that better? Is my voice back? Jeez. My voice was just like... Eh, 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 eh. Dying away. Alright, we've got an adept coming across the map. We've got Starport coming up. A couple of Marines on the way up. Stargate building. Nexus coming through. 
so far so good kind of across the board at the moment so looking pretty decent for now Marines of that obviously push things back we still got that wolf gate coming up the star gate coming in that's just about a finish as we have ourselves max packs is forced onto that third location maru is building a tank guys like this is a full on one 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 base all in so maru sets up on one base no glhf they both glhf you guys wild or maybe it's because of the delay anyways uh yeah, we got ourselves just this one base attack from Maru coming in. We'll see. I mean, he's got the money to expand behind this, but obviously we'll be looking to do something early on. Pax Pax uh, regards this properly. Void Ray on the way. Going to be as defensive as he possibly can be. And now we're going to build mines. That's like, are we going to build, start building some Cyclones? React to those out? Nope. It's going to be the Widow Mines already coming out. The Depth comes over. The Marines come across. And we just have ourselves the of Maru getting going so it's not obviously a one base all in but it's still you know one base you know pressure based off of one single base here initially so that's the important thing to note is uh, a couple of marines in the siege tank setting up do you have the uh, orbital <coughs> so <coughs> God damn it. The, we do have the Oracle now in production as the Adept. It's going to delay the natural. Maru is finally starting to get moving with some medevac drops, but it's been taking him a little while. I can't say I'm really convinced by the build just yet. Obviously, Max Pack is in a great position. Let's see if he gets pulled across, uh, pulled apart by the pressure a little bit, I suppose, in a moment or two. Step back. Starting up from the Terran. Just going to be seeing that Void Ray of Max Pack's coming in. And Void Ray activates. That's a great catch. Oh, but he doesn't get in reach of it. Oh, no. This is a great catch to start, but obviously he didn't actually finish off the medevac, which is such a shame. This is seven probes that went down that looked as though they weren't going to go down at all, honestly. Looked as though that nothing was going to happen there. Robo facility coming through. We just got a couple of extra probes coming in. The Void Ray is going to activate onto that Widow Mine. I'm just going to play cleaner, but... Yeah, in the end, Maru is going to find himself the damage that he kind of needs off the start. You guys said Ellie had to come in and co cast, guys. Well, uh, Ellie, Ellie took that very seriously. So I'll just show you guys this quickly. Ellie took that very seriously, by the way. She's right here to co cast. A little fight. These few Marines are stranded from the Medivac and the Void Ray, and the Stalkers clean those up. As we do see the. Uh, what are you doing? We <laughs> do see <laughs> units continue to move around. Uh, Mines in the center are just going to be seen as they burrow, so they're not going to come in as a surprise factor or anything. We still have the uh, Void Rays actually cruising around. The Voids are kind of cool if they do catch Medivacs, right? Cleaning them up and stuff. Help them a little bit there. They're a big investment, though. Definitely not something that maybe uh, you see too often. And a couple of cyclones still moving around. Factories on the way from Maru. Going to keep doubling down on what is going to be mech play. So mech to continue for the moment. As we just have ourselves the army pushing in. Now, does he actually get a chance to really set up onto mech? This tank goes down with not even a shot, right? Void rays get rid of one cyclone. Now looking for another. The one that's prismatically aligned is going to go down. But Max Pax is just going to kill Maru right here and right now. That's it. Max Pax 2, Maru 0. The mech doesn't even get out of the main base, essentially. And that is so funny. Bottom right side, our blue Terran down by two is on side to Maru. Uh, this series has obviously not been what he would typically want it to be. Not just yet. That's in the top left. Our red Protoss player from Psystorm is Max Pax. Max Pax off to that 2-0 start on Oceanborn now for game three. Can he keep it going? Okay, the simulator coming through, racks and the gas is coming up. I'm gonna start ready to rumble.
What do you guys think? Game number three. Mario tried a couple of different things now, and he's kind of died. You know, trying to do some mech, he's died, you know, just the aggression of max packs. I guess you kind of dial it back to something a little bit more standard, but it's got to be safe as well. Safe enough to make sure that max packs doesn't get the edge early and just win out. Probe nibbling at the supply depot. Doing some damage. Reaper in the factory coming up. Cybercore coming in. Right there in the factory all coming up again. The next is coming through. And Wolfgate is building. The Reaper is going to go chase after this probe. So that probe will go down. So far so good then as our Nexus continues up, our Stargate continues in. Battery is about halfway done. We will just see the Adept being there. She's going to push that Reaper back over to the side. She's going to again hold that off for a few moments. Probe going to be sent along. Again, our Stargate going to be finishing in Max Packs. Might be time to play a little bit of Phoenix or so. Obviously, he played the Void Race last game, which was less than expected, but worked out well with how Maru was opening. And it was based on the fact that Maru was playing the one base opener, right? So it made sense for Max Packs to respond to that in some way, shape, and form. Panther that lifts off, I'm gonna go and have a CT coming over. Like I'm gonna shoot down the Oracle, but the Widow Mine was there for it as well, so that was a double kill. And we have the Robo Soldier coming up, a couple of probes coming out, Cyclone and the Liberator coming in as well. So far, so good. Probes coming out, that rope facility still building on in. Getting things going just for a little bit. Do you see our cyclone and our liberator continue to produce? Marines are still coming out. Lip pops, and we do have a tech lab now dropping down on the starport. The battery finishes in the front. Products facility is about to finish as again the Phoenix continue to gather. Just have ourselves the deck lab coming through, the CC coming up. Raven on the way. As the army of Maru continues all the way to the top side, Cyclone comes in there and Pylon gets dropped down. Here comes Maru's little push. This is where Phoenix builds are maybe meant to be the absolute weakest. The Widow Mine goes down as mine is going to. Not fire yet, still. Liberator gonna go around the back at the same time, though. Alright, really. Proceed straight on. To this mineral line. Max Pack's not even gonna pull the probes away, just comes in to kill it, but that's six probes down, some Max Packs. We'll take some hits. Obviously, only on two bases, and the third CC building from Marus. His economy is gonna set up brilliantly based on what we're currently seeing. Cyclone the Viking, which is at that right hand side. Extra barracks coming up, the Orbital Command coming in. Uh, CV's coming through, Colossus and Extended Thermal Lens continues up as well. Our oh, next is currently about halfway done. This army of Max Packs continues down. To the bottom right, gonna end up onto 
this third base orbital in a couple of moments. Dive in, gonna grab a bunch of SCVs already. Marines are there, they keep forcing the Phoenix back and still got immortals. Just off over on the edge. So let me get going. We do have our Colossus coming in. Like I say, these Phoenix are able to kind of at least lead into some of these fights. They'd love to get rid of that Raven, you know? Just get to see so much value as this Vikings on its own. It's going to go down. Max Max is going to show up with very few units, but apparently he feels like this is enough to attack. And he's going to lift up the siege tank. The Raven does indeed die. Maybe that's it. We just back away from that. But yeah, Max Max trying to get so much done with so little. Honestly, I mean, this is such a small force. But yes, until Stimpak and so on is done, this is a very safe force to be on the map with. So Max Max is just utilizing the position he has very well at the moment. His opponent just. Uh, Kind of struggling along against it. I mean, yeah, you can't really stop that. If you don't have Stim, if you can't close the gap on those Colossi, they can kind of make that move. It's a risky one. The Phoenix come back in on the right-hand side. Phoenix continue to move around, gonna go lifting up a couple of those SCVs and Medivac's tank. Continue to build, one one upgrades coming out as well. We do see the plus one attack, the charge coming through. Well, ghosts come up, Marines on the way through. Prism charge, plus one, plus one. We'll continue now. The scan up to the top side. I want to know what Max X is doing now towards his third base. Max X is uh, a little bit supply blocked. Obviously, he needs to work his way out of that. But as far as this army in the center, still being fairly aggressive in general. Prism will set up. We get a few zealots warping in. Plus one attack and armor both coming out. Our robotics facility is coming through as we have the... Tanks still setting up on the sides. Now a couple of ghosts, the concussive shells all coming through. And the Vikings already chasing away the prism in the center. Bioforce still moving onwards. So turret's going to fire up. Prism taking a lot of shots. It's going to go down, so at least a few zealots get in, but there'll be no warping available. So it'll just be those few zealots. Now a few others going to pass. Obviously, Mario's army across the map is huge. And it doesn't have the issue of maybe having all of these units on the other side, although I guess his reinforcements are on the other side. Mm, so many siege tanks. It's going to be an absolute dilemma of pushing into that as max specs. I guess you're going to lean heavily on the disruptors, which are starting to come into play. Well, the EMP goes down. The Phoenix State in a bit of a beating there. The Super Battery already being utilized by a little bit more time. I mean, the sooner you use it, the sooner it comes back off cooldown to be used again. We are still working our way through SCVs, but we must clean up this army. Max Packs must hold over here at some stage. Otherwise, this is the kind of game as, oh my goodness, that disruptor shot it was, was not as good as it should have been, perhaps. Man, we did get a split off against it. Let's go, oh my goodness, that disruptor. So close to finishing up. If it actually gets the pylon up there, it will just pop, and that's one more disruptor in play. Mowry is taking a, having a bad time across the map, and actually reinforcements are being cleaned up as well, so Max Pax, and now this army is not sieged either, so this is where Max Pax can definitely take a better fight. Trying to come in with a Phoenix, does he need to engage in like this? He clearly, clearly seems to think so. Oh goodness, it's dangerous, is this disruptor shot going to find just a couple of Marauders, but anything helps a little bit. Probes long distance mining as they take a while to settle, but Maru is down by about 20 workers, obviously three bases left from each side, so both players are still on three bases. Max Pax can maybe begin to think about re-expanding even, because Maru is in full retreat mode, he is heading back home, he is not staying on the map any longer. 
Temple of Archives, Disruptor coming up, the Immortal coming through. The Nexus still in production as well. A few Zealots start to charge in towards these depots. Hobbs going up, plus two attack coming up. Again, that Temple of Archives is about to complete. A few SCVs coming in. Zealots still chilling in the bottom left hand side. Archons in production, plus two attack coming up, plus two armors on, uh, plus two attack on the way from both sides, but it's faster from Maru. At this point, I think Max Pack's having a hold here, puts him in a really good spot. Now, let's see what happens next. These few Zelts get caught, however, Maru might get caught himself. Max Pax's army's coming over, and yeah, that group of units can be forced to lift up and back away in the Medivax. Only a few Marines I just left behind. We still have the Zelts waiting poised on the other side. Send our first disruptor shots forward there, but very much so warning shots, nothing really in reach of them. Max Pax. Now, if he wins this game, a 3 0 over Maru is a bit of a statement, and that really does throw your team into an amazing spot. And this team world gets better and better. Another couple of tank shots coming through, the sense tower coming up. We do knock down one SCV there. Marauder goes down to a disruptor. Max Pax. All on his own, still out in the center of the map, plus two attack is halfway done. The destructive production continues. Adding the numbers into this here as we just have Maru sitting and moving forward a little bit. A couple ghosts with that army. Nice destructive shot hits a couple ghosts. I mean, anytime you're knocking ghosts down, less EMPs. Only going to make your army that much better. This little... The, the problem here is that Maru is walking around the corner, essentially. And so he's just getting too close to these disruptor shots. And that's going to be a big one as well. That one that just landed previously is a huge disruptor shot to really chunk away at Maru's army. And Maru's army is absolutely looking worse for wear, to say the least at the moment. It is not having a good time. Plus two armor coming up. The couple of Vikings and a few ghosts are all still being brought into play as well. So let's still moving around this bottom side, just having ourselves. Prism, caught, and not killed. Max Pax, alive. he keeps it alive if only on low HP. Max Pax has re-expanded on the bottom left side, and he's also retaken the base that got killed before, so he's now a 5 base Protoss against a 3 base Terran. He does not necessarily need to be the one pushing in. As those Zards will find a ghost, but that might be all they find, although he is going at the same time with his army on the right, so the units on the left uh, at least keeping a big portion of this army busy. The problem is you are attacking up a ramp into tanks, and you can see the Colossi bodies floating into the skies. Like I said, I just don't think Max Pax needs to attack in. And there is something to be said about what you need to do in these games, right? Especially. There's the prism going down as well. So maybe Mary will get a chance to restabilize here. A new orbital. We're going to go take its way to the fourth base. Gates come out, Dark Shrine finishing, plus three attack, plus two armor coming up, the disruptor still building. And so I was thinking about maybe diving forward here, another disruptor shot, flying just a little bit short, a little bit shy, another disruptor shot there is going to grab two marauders. It's a nice catch, there's more widow mines going off, Zealot still being picked away at. Marauders coming over, just going to grab that Zealot. Shadow Stride coming up, 2 2 upgrades. Sorry, 3 2 upgrades actually from Max Pax, so continue with that plus 3 attack as well. Do you have another disruptor shot coming forward there? That's going to be a big connection. You continue in as Zealots now charge up the right hand side. Another disruptor shot, my goodness, the disruptors have been great this game. They really have been. There's been a few that have been really critical for Max Pax. As he's killing that Widow Mines as they spawn. Maru was not the right choice to take on Max Pax, and suddenly Team World. Well, the doorway is open for them. This is going to be prime position. 